Cambridge. You've got the slate. Let me see. Reduced joint wear. Oh, increased lifting capacity. A dose I want of it. this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. <laughs> and that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Amazing. You don't want me to ask for money. You can try if you feel confident, but I didn't want to push our luck. Besides, if that drug gets big, I think everyone benefits. So, you think you can sell them on it? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. And then he turns to face a wall. Um... Right, so that was worth it, because... Ever been to Those yeah, I... Oh god, they are. Their, their uniforms are so much better than that shit you're wearing. Uh, I... I mean, we got a recipe out of it, I guess, so that's good. Last year, a private concert by classical violinist... Hey, buddy old pal. Was there something else? Yeah. Um, I want to pay off Percival's debt. Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. <laughs> Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. He just lets it Here, pass? His current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. How much is it? What credit? Oof. Oof. Yeah, okay, here you go. His debt's paid. Hmm. Then I suppose that's that then. Dr. Walker's debt is officially no longer a problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. I will. I disagree. Please exercise caution near balcony edges. I have a jump pack. Okay. Lou, I think we should talk. Yeah. I took care of Percival's debt with the TA. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spacers down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Yeah. Yeah, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. Cool. Oh, thanks, Lou. That's actually, uh... Huh. That... I mean, he gave me 500 credits. He didn't ask me how much I paid, but he gave me 500 credits. But... He was holed up where the spaces were. Something tells me that isn't the smartest thing in the world. Get out of here. I can fast travel, can I?
I'm not that fussed on how much we've explored of this, to be honest. I don't feel like I'm actually finding good loot. Not enough oxygen to breathe. Helmets it is then. You said that without moving your lips. Oh, what else you can do without moving your lips? Oh, he's in the broken bit. Where is this place? Is this some sort of Hadron Collider? Percival? Percival, are you in here? Uh, that looks like a cigar. It's not. It's leather. But what's it doing there? Percy, can I call you Percy? Oh. Uh, I am going down there. I can get back up, right? If this stuff really does make something that lets me carry more, I'm having it all. Oh, no, <laughs> now I need to get out of here. I mean, I was a miner, I should be used to this kind of stuff. Is there any more? May as well keep the scanner up. Do we have a three that would do that? That's the easiest way to get rid of that. Uh, what else have we got? That'd do it. Does this fit? Nice. Bit of string. Alright, it looks like cable. It looks like optical cable, actually. Quite thick optical cable. I'll have that, because that's... Can't at that before we are discovered. I'm done! Stop panicking! Oh, is this going to be one of these things where we can't actually get it anywhere other than... Mars? I feel like it is. You know what? Well, well, that didn't sound stable. While I'm doing this, let's just quickly go... Settings, controls... Is it luck or is it's probably aim sensitive? Is it? I don't know. Is it both? Put both up to 70. Or is it controller luck sensitivity? It's probably controller luck sensitivity, isn't it? Okay. 
what came what's what game cursor? Let's try that. That might be too much. Uh, I feel like 65 and then we just push on with however that feels. That was on 55 though, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll go with that. It was just, it was feeling a little sluggish, but that feels way different. This must be the place. Power oh, is this on. is cool. It looks like a 1950s alien mining off-world planet. Oh, this is so cool. Don't forget to mine the stuff, though. Percival better not be dead. I need him to study the alien. Stuff down there. Can I easily get down there? I can. Hematite. Hematite, sorry. I don't know what Hematite is. Pop. I don't know if this feels any better. I know it's a very different game, so I'm, I'm not going to rib it for the sensitivity of the controls, because to be fair, they, they're all different, right? But I just want it to feel like Halo Infinite feels. I've, I don't know how I've done it, but I have got Halo Infinite's controls, the sensitivity, perfect. Perfect for me, anyway. I mean, we don't want those things, right? They're heat leech eggs. You must be the one who got me out of the red with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it, but I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Not technically, no. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? You know how long it took me to find you? Take this damn sample. Oh, I'm sorry my forced into exile lifestyle inconvenienced you. You're not in exile but anymore. You came all this way just to deliver a sample. What exactly is it you brought me? Tell Gourmet's own free range, 100% human fed Terramorph cells. Terramorph attack, huh? Not exactly sure why you'd be bringing that. Wait, Tell Gourmet. Like. Tau Seti, Tau Gourmet? That's yeah. a joke, right? There's no settlement old enough on Tau Seti to have a Terramorph. Either someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or who exactly told you to bring this to me? Hadrian Sanon? I guess we can tell him. Hadrian? She's... She gave you this? Yeah. If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Are they on Mars? If Terramorphs followed humanity across the galaxy... I hate, I hate that so much. If Terramorphs have followed humans across the galaxy and every 70 years they show up, have they not shown up on Mars? The hell? I don't remember the United Badge looking like that. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I You've got a guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Got a sitar. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something more reasonable. Good to see someone give the trade authority a bit of their own medicine. Yeah, I'm good at that. Oh, 
All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Let's get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. What? Well, I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. The sample's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramoff itself. Can't just Myself. humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It doesn't ring a bell. It was a city wiped completely off the map by Terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Wow. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talcetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. How? Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. The chances for survival, let alone maintaining any kind of functioning society, would be slim indeed. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Um... You said the Londinian attacks were massive. What's one odd Terramorph gonna change that? Because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. A big damn hero, Call Master Chief. Probably Call Master Chief, to be fair. Get your boots on. We're going to stop any more attacks before they even start. Music to my ears. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. She's still following us as well, right? Do you need to grab any of this crap? The Detachment Red Devils. I'm inclined to say no. I don't need to grab any of that crap. All right, let's go. Now this I'm inclined to grab. You keep your cards and your worms. The surprise is not that the UC engaged in Xeno warfare in the past, but that they ever stopped. I would have expected them to very quietly keep this place open. Yeah, I think you're going to see the UC in a different light on this. You both missed the lift. Screw you guys. Stop being so slow. Adrian better be here. Maybe she can bring a wall. Uh, can I just teleport?
Have I got the wrong mission or something? No, I'll meet with Hadrian at the Sixth Circle. Do I set course? No, I don't need to fly there. I'm already there. It'd have been easier to run there, wouldn't it? She is definitely here. I always wondered what it would be like to see these famed red devils in combat. I would love if Percival had some sort of reply to that. Like the companions in Baldur's Gate 3, the companions in Mass Effect. Uh, Dragon Age, I think, talked to each other as well. No, they did. 100% they did. Alistair and Liliana used to talk. And Morrigan used to just tell everyone they were crap. I can go where I want. I am a UC captain. I was promoted straight to captain after doing a preliminary mission. That should show you how amazing I am. So screw you, old lady. Why is he no longer following me? Is, is that really her? It Maybe. is. Daughter? Percival. My god, look at no. you. No. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Can I come? Come on, you. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. Uh. I don't like any of these answers either. Uh, it was fine. That's... Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. That was less gunfire so, than my were usual you two jobs. able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian. That's... That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the no, cabinet would be willing to hear us out either, but I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. I am a ranger. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Well, that's easy enough. Doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. I think you owe me an explanation at this point. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. In Mars. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. 
and the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. You did it on Mars, next to Earth. I suppose Earth is a ruin, though. I was wondering if you were ever going to share that nugget with me. Oh. You already knew. Yeah. I, I'm sorry about that. It didn't seem relevant in the moment, and well, it's... It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground. But the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Okay. Easy enough. Why wouldn't the cabinet agree to help us? I mean, I hope they will. But accessing the archives, it's not 100% up to them. They'll also need the consent of the other signatories of the Colony War Armistice, the Freestar Collective and House Varun, in order to unlock it. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. I'm a ranger, it's fine. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. I see no reason not to trust them. Okay. Let's go talk to this cabinet. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. And just what is on your mind at this moment? Did you... you caught me with Hadrian? Oh, we were just talking. It's... it's fine. No, genuinely, we were just talking. Meet Hadrian at Mast. Right, let's go do this. Was that Percival walking through there with you? Oh, I'm glad to see he's still kicking. He's good. We're, we're going to share this lift. We're apparently not going to share this lift. <laughs> the old man's pretty spry. He went straight up that lift shaft. There was a shop around here somewhere. I need to properly explore this place. I say we go sort Andre out. But actually, first let's sleep. Because I think my... My XP has worn off if that just gave me a straight 250. Oh, it's just across the way. It's fine. Here we go. I'm probably going to tweak the weapons before we do the next thing as well, if we've got to shoot our way through the cabinet. Uh, I kind of... Bored, yeah. Um... A few things I want to change is all. That's the wrong way. And straight down here. You're allowed to be in here. I... that doesn't look very... oh god. No wonder she gets into bed weird. Oh, she got into bed normal. Last night. Well, all that physical training seems to have paid off. I mean, again, it was just an hour.
Let's go. Let's do this commitment-y thing that she wants us to do. It seems about right if we're going to try and... ...start war, I guess. Well, try and not start war, but... ...tear them off some things. On your word, Captain. It's getting a little scary. What is going on with those guns? Why are they pointing in? <laughs> My guns have broken! No! <laughs> Travel 2 shows it to. Sure. Those guns are weird. I need to get rid of some anyway, but... Jump complete. Normal propulsion restored. Let's max out the engines. Max out them. What is this place? It's a temperate climate. It's a high gravity world. Oof. Quite a lot of activity here. Okay. Like, I'm down for it. Seems like the perfect place to feed me to a giant snake, though. Where's my ship? Is that my asteroid? No, it's a bit small for my asteroid. What does your scanner reveal? Caterweed. Yes? You need something? What are we doing here? It is always a pleasure. Seriously, what are we doing here? That is a weird looking crab. Oh yeah, it's high gravity. You want me down here? Uh, I don't really need cobalt. Okay, what am I doing here? There is little I can offer to show you how much I care. How much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work, because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. I don't need a ceremony or a party, or anything else. I have you, although I do want a party. And I love you for feeling that way. But I did think of something. This place... Where we stand now is the first place I was. Come then. Meet I your figured friend. that was about to happen. Once again, we are triumphant. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about something. Oh no, you're getting attacked by a giant cricket. There is little I can offer to show you how much I care. How much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work. We've and done this. Whatever marriage tra uh, I have you. And I love you for feeling that way. But I did think of something. This place, where we stand now, is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Dasra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home frightened me. But at the same time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. 
That is a feeling I had not experienced again until I met you. I have always considered myself an entire universe of possibility. Well, in this instance, I am happy to feed your ego. Ah. I shall try not to make too much of a habit of it. But there is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. It is best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. But I didn't bring a shovel. What is it? Is that some sort of knife? I mean, it's kind of cool, but what a weird wedding present. You hold in your hands the most treasured item I could give you. I knew you like knives, but this is something else. It is indeed something very special. Let me explain. In my culture, every child is entrusted with a pet groat. They are domesticated creatures native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous, but their milk is a staple of our diet. It's pronounced goat. We raise the groat. We care for it. We milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the groat and fashion its skull into a dagger. You turned your childhood pet into a weapon. I did. Through this groat, we are shown the connection that we have to the great serpent. That all things serve the serpent and can be tools for his use in more ways than one. So this is incredibly personal to you. I am glad that you can appreciate that. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. The Great Serpent is always with us. As is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But that constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. So when we first leave our home, we hide it. Bearing it here is one more way of going undercover. Yes, precisely. So for years, this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now, I believe you should have it. With it, I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation. I love you and I am yours. Wholly and completely. Wait, is this the first relationship between House Varun and some random guy with space powers? Uh, let's go for the soppy shit. I don't have a skull dagger, but my heart is yours. I know, dearest. And I love you for it. She says that a lot. Ooh, now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on. Cool. <laughs> My favorite person. How do you feel about our marriage? 
Do you want to hear me say that you make me deliriously happy? Because you do. Thanks. Then I shall be sure and tell you more often, darling. Why are the conversation options in this game so terrible? Do you see um, anything useful? So... We're married now. Uh, how... Uh, we should probably tell the crew that they missed out on the, the party. Does this turn into some sort of cool weapon or something? Nope, it's just a goat head dagger. It's not even well made. What I would have done was take the horn and fashion a handle And, you know, like made it into an actual weapon. I mean, she even buried it with a stand. That's, that's dedication. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was a weird tradition. I'm going to go scan this planet now. Mm -hmm.